Hi, welcome to the video. We are almost the 1st of May and for those people who have the extension X marks, it, uh, is, it was a little bit of looking for a proper good extension that could replace X marks. What is X marks? I have about 300 websites I bookmarked because of um, the interest in the, and then, well, you bookmark something because you want to keep it around because it's good. And um, it was nice because it, it synced between Firefox and Google Chrome and Vivaldi and it went from Mac to Linux to Windows and back and everything was synced and it was super. But at this point in time, so we're now 28, I think I've made my choice. I want to ch share that with you guys. So what I'll do for the coming months and see if it works for me, that is um, sync everything that's, that's super needed. I apply the Pareto rule, that is, there are probably only 10 to 20% of your bookmarks that you actually need. So these are up, up here. These things is what I always go to. And I'll sync them with the, the sync in here. So there is a sync button. I have to make an account in Firefox and then it works and everything. These guys are synced to the cloud. So that's super. So that's Firefox out of the way. Let's kill him. Then Google Chrome, uh, the same goes here. We have an apps extra. I'll go into this, the, this little thing in a minute. And we have here start and all the same things. The same rule applies. We have also an account in here. Settings we can change. And in here we can pop in our, our mail account and then everything is synced also. So these bookmarks go to the web. And then the same applies here. We have a uh, Vivaldi snapshot. I made a tutorial about this, guys. Vivaldi snapshot. Shot. There you can sync as well. We have the possibility to sync. I don't think this is a snapshot version since it has not uh, this here, this, this sync button in here. So if I start that, you'll see that there. I don't know if it's installed here. If it is, I'll just show you where it, the setting is. So you see this little cloud in here and then you know already that uh, we have this sync button and then everything works. Now going a little bit deeper inside this little cloud thing here, I have um, this raindrop.io. What did I what I did was import all my bookmarks. Well, first clean it out, of course. Uh, I, I threw away a lot of uh, URLs that say oh, I don't need that anymore, don't need that, etc. Then you import everything in here, and then you go from a. Um, it's not here. No, it's not here. Then you go from a folder in a folder in a folder to one level. Um, well. Uh, structure so you can't make a linux in linux inside make an arco linux so if you want to do that you have to pay and then how do you call it again nested collections so if you want to have a folder in a folder then you need to do something but hey look what i did i said okay let's make a folder called linux arch linux linux awesome linux areola and so on so for me this is good enough this is one level, this used to be one folder, Linux, with everything under it, but now I have a little bit more folders. But you just scroll through it and everything is here available. So when you click on these um, elements, these uh, collections, we see here this kind of look. This is the mood board and you can have also have the list, if you are rather like that, or the headlines, or the cards. So I, you can have the titles gone. Make a little bit bigger if you like to. Apply it to everything. So basically I do like the mood board. Um, we could share, which we're not going to do. Sort by dates, by name, by popularity, by sites. And these are tags. I really should get into that since I believe I've made my choice. Since this works on uh, Mac, on uh, Android on iPhone on iPad then I said okay let's let's do this 
and in some occasions you also have extensions of uh, raindrop in your uh, browser so that's good as well so my message to you i have 155 i, I went from 300 to 155 or something like that um, so i cleaned it up first and then imported everything i'm not gonna pay as for now um, suggest the tags is maybe a thing to do duplicate finder broken link finder um, i'll discover it myself and upload images or cloud backup so the cloud backup might be interesting um, to have it for instance back up to dropbox or google drive but we back it up anyway to this app raindrop.io so i don't think i'll ever buy a pro but that's up to you if you say hey i want that functionality that's great um, then you can do so so everything is neatly arranged i say the mood board apply to all and then everything is mood board like so so um up to you to see if you find this a suitable replacement for um, the the death of uh, x marks but for me i'm gonna try it for the coming months and um, you see whether you like it or not all right cheers